my name is Heather Diaz, fellow Tro Pirates, and this video is talking about my gear for the PC2 2017, and mean sleep and start date is April Thursday, April 27th. And to start off is the big four, well, and this is my backpack. It's the uh, Osprey Aurora 65. I'm keeping it how it is with all the straps and and the, the people call this the brain. If I decided to not need it later on, I can always strip it back. Everyone has their preferences, but I like it how it is, and I like how it fits on me. Everyone has mentioned you use different brands out there, but I tried a bunch of backpacks, and this was the best fit. And even though I'm tall, I'm at 5'9", I still have a size small. You can get fitted at your local outdoor store. I got my fit at REI. Next thing is the tent. So this thing is a big Agnes. This is the Copper Spur HV UL2. And um, this is a brand new one. It came out in December, in December I believe. But I'm not going to carry this because since me and Steven are hiking together, he's going to carry this. And what I'm going to carry is I'm carrying the footprint. And the footprint, it's separately. It costs about 70 bucks. Sucks, I know. And but I'm carrying this because in case we get separated, which we hope we don't, mm -hmm. I can use this as like set this up with a, as like a tarp with my trunking pool as an optional shelter. We're hoping that we stick together all the way through. Next thing is a sleeping pad. Sleeping pad. I got the um, Thermarest. It's a neolite for women because I'm a woman, and it, the reason why it's different than any the regular neat one is that it um, has a little, it's a little bit higher. It's like has a lot more space because like, women get cold eas easily. So if you're more away from the ground, you get more warmer. So that's what I got. And the size of like a really small water bottle. That's why I love it. It's super light. And then I also got a pillow, which is my luxury item. Just a regular cocoon travel pillow. Thank you, Stephen, for giving this to me. Also with this backpack. And then lastly, it's my, my sleeping bag, but I got a quilt. And this is the Alightment Revelation quilt. It's 10 degrees and I got it custom made. The reason why I spent, I did a lot of research on, on my sleeping system. And because I'm, like, I, to me, it's the most important thing because it might break my hike if I don't have, if I, because I like, my back is kind of weird. So if I don't sleep well, I have a back problem. So my main thing was that if I can sleep perfectly through the night, I would be well rested for the next day. Everyone's different, but to me, my sleeping system was the most important thing. And it's a little pricier. No, it's okay. I got a sip because I'm a trope heart. But I'm the, and also with the Lightman Equipment Series, it usually comes in this bag. And it comes like with the other bag inside of it. This is more to store when you're not on the trail. But obviously, I'm not going to bring this. I just store my sleeping bag in this in the meantime. And then this sack didn't come with it. You can buy one on Amazon. This is just like a... I don't know, it's like Agnes Max. I just found it on Amazon. It's waterproof. Good reviews. Because when we're going to be in the Sierras, I don't know what's going to happen because there's a lot of snow. I want everything dry, especially since it's synthetic down. And that's why I also have these dry bags here for my food and drinks and other stuff. And the next thing, too, is outside. It's my big form. Kind of like four and a half. Next thing um, is my clothes. So my clothes... It down a little lower. So here I got my sorry guys, this is my sports bra. So for you ladies, I got this one. It's like Adidas padded, gives me a lot of support. Don't feel like I'm getting squished. I can breathe. After that is my tank top, my Nike tank top. I just had this for years. It just is breathable, thin, and it works well. I have one long sleeve. My brother gave it to me for Christmas. It's just dry fit, simple, bright. I can be found. One is underwear. I got Officio, the give and go underwear, 24 bucks a piece, but it will dry really fast, which, which I would need because I want to clean it. I want it to be dry so I can reuse it. Next is my shorts, my regular Nike run in shorts. I have been using this, probably have used this for 10 years. Works fine. I used to run a bunch of half marathons. I probably used, at least ran like at least a thousand miles in this, never hurt, never shaft me. It was fine. So I'm going to use this on the trail. Next, my my hiking tights. They're my Adidas Climax. 
worth 120 got it on sale great for the winter time I'm gonna use this um, next is um, is my headgear have a headband simple Nike one I it's like dry fit which I need to have a lot of hair so it's great and I sweat a lot and also it covers my ears which is important because I think the hike a lot of it's gonna be mental so if the wind blows and hear a bug or if there's a bug coming I won't even hear it so it won't bother me and I've been using it for running so I've ran hundreds and like thousands of miles with it and it's always worked so I believe it worked and also have my bike light attached I'm using this as my headlamp I already spent 50 bucks on lights why should I spend more Copers. Yes. <laughs> Next is my bug bucket. Outdoor research. It, my mosquito net is attached to this hat. I decided I want it like two in one, a hat and the bug net because I lose stuff. I know I do. And also I, I get really irritated with like hats. So I might as well have it attached and just not worry about it. Everyone has their own preferences. I get it. This is mine. Next is the feet, which I consider the most important thing of all, I think your feet is priority, your gear, and then it's like, and then I think it's like your sleeping system. Your feet carries your the entire way, so I this is your primary focus to make sure you get the best of the best. So my socks, I got the darn tough hiker socks. I got three different types. This is for, of course, my trail runners, and this is like a little bit higher, and these are for my boots. Iron gets really cold. And then next to my shoes, I got my Solomon GTX boots. They're worth about, they're Gore-Tex, worth $230. It was a nail biter, but these are for the Sierras and you need ankle support. I believe that even though I'm a firm believer in true runners, I just need that ankle support or walking through the snow. And I'm gonna wear this and I got it on sale for $170 on Amazon. So if you wait long enough, there are deals. Next are my shirt runners and our Nike um, Wild Horse 2 GTX, their Gore-Tex. I've been using this for two years. I it's like you, it's ready to to like to rock because it's trail runners, and they last forever. And I never had a problem. I never had blisters. But that's just me because that's I've been using them. I've been using Nike for like 15 years, so that's why it works for me. Everyone's different. Next is my sandals. I got Chacos because these are probably worth over $100, but I got them in still for 50% off at REI. Always look for deals. I will will wear this around the camp, but also when I need a break from my shoes, I would change it to that because my feet swell. I know that, so um, when I feel my feet are starting to swell, I'll change to my Chacos, let them breathe, to prevent blisters because I would do anything to prevent blisters. So that's my shoes. Next up is my cooking system water supply. So this is my cooking system. Got my snow peak titanium little stoves and a little container. Inside I cut, you can stuff my snow peak stove and is it actually includes my you can power the, like the um, the gas, which is awesome because it fits everything in one. The reason why we chose a, the stove because you know we want a little more variety. Everyone has their preferences. We want to cook, and the good thing about going as a couple is that we can distribute the weight. So it's not like it's added weight. We're sharing stuff. And after that, I have my water system. Got my Sawyer squeeze. We didn't get the meaty, the many because it takes too long to squeeze, and it's two people. We don't have time to waste. I probably won't need all this, but I just put this in the bag because it's what it, I got from it. And then this is my water, other platypus thing. As uh, two liters, it also hooks up with the Sawyer. Um, squeeze and I don't have the vitamin water spot water thing that everyone uses but I will have it just as like it, it's actually murky water I don't want to get this get dirty on my smart water to get dirty when I use like this filter and next we have my camel bag which I will use on my backpack and then I also have an extra nibble just in case this gets lost or gets dirty 
Always be prepared. And aside from that, this is my accessories. Getting closer to be finished. So right here is my first aid kit. Always be prepared. It includes whatever I need. You know, there's ponchos, emergency blanket, whatever else. And then if you want to know what's in inside, please let me know. But I do want to point out that I do have my allergy pills here because I have bad allergies. This is why I'm wearing glasses because I don't want to touch my hands. I have any dirt and touch my, touch my eyes. But also for that, I do have my allergy eye drops. There are allergy eye drops. It's new. This is the case that anything happens. And I have my iron pills because I need it. I know I know my body for 12 years, for years. And then I had anything else I need. And my contacts because I, just in case it happens to my glasses, got to have my contacts, contact solution and stuff. Next is the multi-tools. Some multi tools with knives and stuff. Yes, go nice knives. And next, I have solar charger. Actually, just a battery charger. And then I have an extra battery because I don't have an Apple phone, and mine has an option to have an extra battery. Go non Apple phones. Flashlight. This DeLorean in Reach Explorer. It's a GPS and a two way communicator. So I can text my mom that I'm okay when I don't have signal because she's a. I'm Hispanic and moms freak out, and my mom freaks out all the time, so I consider a text when I don't have signal with my exact location. Um, and also, it's good for whiteouts. Always, like I said, always be prepared. Next, soap, poop scoop, because you gotta poop. And then also, girl stuff, so guys, you can cover your ears, you can hide your, cover your eyes. Right here, I have my peak style thing. I looked online, people said it's the best one. So, so I don't have to pop a squat everywhere I go. And the access for like the females, I got the menstrual cup, I got the Lena, I love it. Um, works great. So there's that. If you need have any questions about that, you can comment <laughs> below. But pretty yes, there are that. <laughs> and then next is my GoPro. GoPro's being used, but I'm bringing this thing and my GoPro, the brand new one, the it's a black. GoPro pair. Hero 5. Yes. And I can't wait to use it because there's everything is bloomy that's that's gonna be pretty outside so i can't wait to use it okay after, this, after that we're getting closer to the end i promise i promise i promise um got my trekking poles it's a black diamond one it's retractable these are worth 130 but i got from 80 bucks on amazon these might change though because i got i found out a few days ago i got selected to be uh, for the PCTA themselves to be a P3 ambassador, which means I will promote to protect, preserve the environment, which means to be ever hide the PCT or anywhere else. Please pick up your trash, bring, you know, like pack in what you brought, I mean, you know, pack out what you brought in. Please, please, please do that. But also, there's um, people, there's like different um, people. People are sponsoring that, and I might get new trekking poles, but this is the one I bought, originally bought, and that I wanted. If I get lucky poles, I'll take them, but this is one I have. Also, I have my gloves. This is my Nike running gloves. Uh, I've used this for, mar for half marathons for years. They worked great, so I figured if I ran 15 miles straight with these gloves, I can hike 15 miles and just be fine. We also have these things so you can like use electronics. But so yay! And there's a dry fit. And then lastly, finally, circling back is the winter gear for the Sierras. And aside from my boots, I got my Katula spikes, micro spikes. I know that people are using crampons. People are saying crampons are reused right now for the snow conditions. Um, we'll see what happens when we get there in two months. Luckily, I saved the box, and I got it from RAI because it has a digital online receipt, so I can always return it later and just get the crampons. So, um, but we'll see what happens. But if this is ever going to be a year like that, save the box and make sure you order from RAI so you can return it. After that, um, I have my gaiters, the outdoor research. I'll put this over my boots to make sure I am stay dry. Next, I have my whip pit, my self-arrest pull. I got this one because as a self-retractable blade, 
I moved it up a clot, so I don't want to make sure I want to make sure I can retract it and just carry it around when I need to. And when I don't go on camp, I don't need this. I can just put it back in. And also, it's retractable, so I can it can be small. So there's some holes that doesn't retract at all. I just want mine to be small and portable when needed. Lastly, I got my polar buff. It has an American flag because America. And this is what I use in my on my head. And that is about it. And this is just the basics. And then of course, it's this a reminder that anything that I have, I can always change it up. Nothing what I have is permanent, which you also always keep in mind. Because you might like some things, you might want to change it up. And so far, just what I think is best. And I will create a post gear video um, reviewing what I got and what I recommend. But until then, this is what I have. This is Heather Dio signing off. I follow Trail Pirate, and I'll see you on the trail.